respiration. In this video, let us discuss about important questions of respiration of class 10. One mark, two mark, four mark questions and answers of respiration are covered in this video. One mark questions. Question 1. What is respiration? Respiration is the process by which food is broken down for release of energy. Question 2. In Latin, what does the respiration mean? In Latin, the word respiration means to breathe. Question 3. Who did comprehensive work on properties of gases, their exchange and respiration? Lavoisier and Priestley did the comprehensive work on properties of gases and their exchange and respiration. Question 4. What was the gas liberated on heating powdered charcoal in a bell jar? It was fixed air. In those days, CO2 was known as fixed air. Question 5. According to Lavoisier, what was produced by combustion of charcoal? According to Lavoisier, CO2 was produced by combustion of charcoal. Question 6. What is vitiated air? Vitiated air is term used to show air from which the component needed for burning had been removed. Question 7. Which gas according to Lavoisier is respirable air? Oxygen is respirable air according to Lavoisier. Question 8. What happens when air passes from nostrils to alveolus? Air is filtered in nasal cavity by mucus lining and the hairs growing from its sides remove some of the tiny particles of dirt in the air. The temperature of air is brought close to that of body. Question 9. What is the function of epiglottis? Epiglottis controls the movement of air and food towards their respective passages. Question 10. Where does gaseous exchange take place? Gaseous exchange takes place in tiny air sacs of lung called alveoli. Question 11. What is breathing? Breathing is the process of inhaling and exhaling. The mechanism by which organisms obtain O2 from the environment and release CO2 is called as breathing. Question 12. What is inspiration or inhalation? Entry of air into lungs from outside is inspiration. Question 13. What is expiration or exhalation? Expiration or exhalation is the pushing out air from lungs to outside. Question 14. What are pleura? Pleura are the two membranes that protect the lungs from injury. Question 15. What is cellular respiration? Oxidation of glucose or fatty acids takes place in the cells releasing energy. Hence, this process is known as cellular respiration. Question 16. What is aerobic respiration? Oxidation of glucose 
in presence of oxygen is called as aerobic respiration. Question 17. What is anaerobic respiration? Oxidation of glucose in absence of oxygen is called as anaerobic respiration. Question 18. What is glycolysis? It is the breakdown of glucose molecule into two molecules of three carbon compounds is called as pyruvic acid or pyruvate releasing energy. Question 19. What is the fate of pyruvate in the absence of oxygen in plants? In the absence of oxygen, pyruvate will be converted to ethanol, CO2 and water releasing energy in plants. Question 20. What is the fate of pyruvate in the absence of oxygen in animals? In the absence of oxygen, pyruvate will be converted to lactic acid releasing small amounts of energy in animals. Question 21. What is the main reason for feeling pain in muscles after strenuous exercise? Due to the anaerobic respiration in muscles, large amounts of lactic acid accumulates and this results in muscular pain. Question 22. What is fermentation? In the absence of oxygen, yeast cells convert pyruvic acid to ethanol. This process is called as fermentation. Question 23. What is combustion? Combustion is a process of which heat is evolved when organic molecules are burnt. CO2 and H2O are released. Question 24. What is the full form of ATP? How is it formed? ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate. The energy released during respiration process is used to make an ATP molecule from ADP and inorganic phosphate. Question 25. What is use of ATP? ATP is the energy currency for most cellular process. ATP is used to supply energy in the cells for carrying all the metabolic processes. Question 26. What are the substances that are used to produce energy in all living organisms? Or what are respiratory substrates? Glucose and fatty acids are used to produce energy. The substances which are oxidized to liberate energy are called respiratory substrates. Question 27. Where energy is stored in ATP? Energy is stored in the terminal phosphate bond in ATP which is having three phosphates attached to a molecule of adenosine. Question 28. What are the powerhouses of the cell? Mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell. Question 29. What are the end products of aerobic respiration? CO2 and H2O are the end products of aerobic respiration. Question 30. Write an equation for aerobic respiration. 
सी सिक्स एच ट्वेल्व ओ सिक्स प्लस सिक्स ओ टू गिवस सिक्स सी ओ टू प्लस सिक्स एच टू ओ प्लस सिक्स एटी सिक्स किलो कैलोरीज क्वेश्चन थर्टी वन वॉट आर द साइट्स ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन माइटोकांड्रिया और द साइट्स ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन क्वेश्चन थर्टी टू वॉट आर द थ्री स्टेजेस प्रेजेंट इन कंप्लीट ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ ग्लूकोज मॉलिक्यूल द थ्री स्टेजेस आर वन ग्लाइकोलिसिस टू क्रेप्स साइकिल थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम क्वेश्चन थर्टी थ्री Why the rate of breathing in aquatic organisms is much faster than terrestrial organisms? The amount of dissolved O2 is low as compared to the amount of O2 in air. Therefore, the rate of breathing in aquatic animals is much faster than in terrestrial animals. Question 34 Name the substance whose build up in the muscles during vigorous physical exercise may cause cramps. Lactic acid. Question 35. How trachea is prevented from collapsing? The walls of the trachea are supported by several C-shaped cartilaginous rings. They prevent the trachea from collapsing and closing. Question thirty-six: What is the composition of inhaled air? Inhaled air contains twenty-one percentage of O2, zero point zero three percentage of CO2, and seventy-nine percentage of N2. Question thirty seven: In which kind of respiration more energy is released? In aerobic respiration, more energy is released as against fifty eight kilocalories in anaerobic respiration. Question thirty eight: Why we are advised not to talk? while eating food we are advised not to talk while eating food because while eating some food particles might enter the windpipe which can lead to choking two mark questions question 39 state two similarities between aerobic and anaerobic respiration Both aerobic and anaerobic respirations release energy by breaking down glucose. The energy produced by these processes is used to carry out various functions of our body. Both respirations take place in cell. Question 40 How does choking of windpipe is caused by food? Trachea or windpipe is covered by epiglottis. So, when a person swallows food, it doesn't go into trachea. If food enters the trachea, it can block it completely and cause a person to choke to death. If the food goes down the trachea, it can lodge the main pipe and cause suffocation. If food enters the trachea, it generally causes a person to cough forcefully enough to remove the food question 41 why does the rate of breathing increase while walking uphill at a normal pace in mountains give two reasons the rate of breathing increases while walking uphill at a normal pace in mountains because of the following reasons As we go up the hill above sea level the concentrations of O2 is greatly reduced 
so we have to breathe more to get the required amount of O2. While walking the uphill, a lot of oxygen is used by our body to release the energy from glucose. This leads to lack of O2 in the cells. Hence, to increase the amount of O2 intake, there is an increase in breathing rate during walking uphill. Question 42. Plants photosynthesize during daytime and respire during night. Do you agree? Why or why not? No, I don't agree with this statement. Plants photosynthesize during daytime only and they respire during the day and nights as well. During the daytime, when photosynthesis occurs, O2 is produced. The leaves use some of this O2 for respiration and the rest diffuses into air. During daytime, CO2 produced by respiration is all used up in photosynthesis by leaves. At night time, no photosynthesis occurs and oxygen diffuses into leaves to carry out respiration. Question 43. Why does a deep sea driver carry oxygen on his back? Oxygen is present in dissolved state in water. Human beings don't have gills like the fish which can extract dissolved oxygen from water and utilize it for breathing. Moreover, as we go deep down in water, the oxygen level decreases. So, a deep sea driver carries an oxygen gas cylinder for breathing when he goes deep under the sea water. Question 44. Where will the release of energy from glucose in respiration take place? Mala writes lungs, while Jaya writes muscles. Who is correct and why? Respiration is the process of releasing energy from the breakdown of glucose. Respiration takes place in every cell. All the time and all the cells need to respire in order to produce the energy that they require. So, Jaya is correct. The energy is released from muscles during respiration. Only gaseous exchange takes place in lungs. Question 45. How are alveoli designed to maximize the exchange of gases? The human lungs have been designed to maximize the exchange of gases as follows. There are millions of alveoli in lungs. The presence of millions of alveoli in the lungs provides a very large area for the exchange of gases. Availability of large surface area maximizes the exchange of gases. Question 46. What happens if the diaphragm is not there in the body? If diaphragm is not there in the body, we would not be able to breathe. All the breathing movements will stop. It is the major muscle of respiration that separates the thoracic and abdominal cavities. The body is dependent on diaphragm for normal respiratory function. In its absence, we cannot do anything. Four more questions. Question 47. Distinguish between inspiration and expiration. Inspiration is an active process. Expiration is a passive process. Contraction of external intercostal muscles and relaxation of internal intercostal muscles occur in inspiration. Relaxation of external intercostal muscles and contraction of internal intercostal muscles occurs in expiration. Ribcages move forward and outward in 
inspiration rib cages move downward and inward in expiration tear from contracts and become inward in inspiration tear from relaxes and becomes original dome shaped in expiration in inspiration there is an increase in volume of thoracic cavity in expiration there is decrease in volume of thoracic cavity air pressure in lungs is less than atmospheric pressure in inspiration air pressure in lungs is greater than atmospheric pressure in expiration inspiration is intake of air into lungs expiration is expulsion of air from the lungs question 48 distinguish between aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen anaerobic respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen in aerobic respiration complete oxidation of glucose takes place in anaerobic respiration the glucose molecule is incompletely oxidized in aerobic respiration end products are co2 and water in anaerobic respiration end products are either ethyl alcohol or lactic acid and water in aerobic respiration lots of energy is liberated in anaerobic respiration relatively small energy is liberated aerobic respiration occurs in plants and animal cells anaerobic respiration occurs in many anaerobic bacteria and human cells the chemical formula of aerobic respiration is c6h12o6 plus 6o2 gives 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus 686 kilocalories. The chemical formula of anaerobic respiration is C6H12O6 gives 2C2H5OH plus 2CO2 plus 56 kilocalories. Question forty nine. Distinguish between respiration and combustion. Respiration occurs in living cells. Combustion is non-cellular. Oxidation of food materials, especially glucose, to carbon dioxide and water, is called as respiration. when sugar burns co2 and water are produced and energy is released as heat this process is called as combustion in respiration oxidation of sugar molecules occurs at the body temperature of an organism in combustion heat is to be applied for the sugar molecule to burn in respiration the energy is released in several stages in combustion the energy is released at once as heat in respiration several intermediates are formed in combustion no intermediates are formed in respiration enzymes are required for oxidation in combustion enzymes are not required for oxidation respiration occurs in presence of water combustion occurs in absence of water respiration is a controlled process combustion is not a controlled process in respiration energy is stored as atp in the body in combustion energy is not stored and is released into the atmosphere 
Question 50. Distinguish between photosynthesis and respiration. Photosynthesis occurs only in plants and some bacteria. Respiration occurs in all living organisms. Photosynthesis takes place in presence of sunlight. Respiration takes place throughout the day. Photosynthesis occurs in chloroplast and is dependent on light. Respiration occurs in cytoplasm and mitochondria and is independent of light. Raw materials of photosynthesis are CO2 and water. Raw materials of respiration are carbohydrates and organic substances and oxygen. In photosynthesis, light energy is fixed in the form of chemical energy and stored in carbohydrates. In respiration, chemical energy is stored in carbohydrates burns to release energy. Oxygen is liberated in photosynthesis and carbon dioxide is used. Oxygen is utilized in respiration and carbon dioxide is liberated. Photosynthesis produces ATP using light energy. Respiration produces ATP using oxygen. In photosynthesis, ATP and NADPH2 are mainly used for synthesis of organic compounds. In respiration, NADPH2 and ATP are made available for cellular respiration. Photosynthesis is anabolic process. Respiration is a catabolic process. The chemical formula of photosynthesis is 6CO2 plus 12H2O gives C6H12O6 plus 6O2 plus 6H2O. The chemical formula of respiration is C6H12O6 plus 6O2 gives 6CO2 plus 6HO plus 686 kilocalories. Question 51. What procedure did you follow to understand anaerobic respiration in your school laboratory? Our aim is to prove that CO2 is released during anaerobic respiration. The apparatus that are required are thermos flask, spitted cox, thermometer, wash bottle, glass tubes, liquid paraffin, glucose solution, yeast cells, bicarbonate solution. Procedure Remove dissolved oxygen in thermos flask by boiling it for a second and then cooling it without shaking. Now add some yeast to the glucose solution and fix two hold rubber stopper to the flask. The supply of oxygen from the air can be cut off by pouring one centimeter layer of liquid paraffin into the mixture through the holes. Insert one end of the thermometer through the thermos flask. See the end of thermometer kept inside the solution. Arrange for any gas produced by the yeast to escape through a wash bottle containing a bicarbonate solution or lime water. Add a few drops of Dyson green solution to the yeast suspension before you pour liquid paraffin over it. The blue Dyson green solution turns pink when oxygen is in short supply around it. Warm the apparatus to about 37 Fahrenheit in order to speed up the test. Keep the apparatus undisturbed for one or two days. Question 52. What are your observations in combustion of sugar activity? When sugar is heated, first it chars and later burns producing flames. When sugar is combusted, carbon dioxide and water are produced. Energy is also released 
in the form of heat and is released at once. We cannot control the combustion of sugar and also intermediate products are not formed. We can combust sugar in the absence of water and also enzymes are not required. Due to combustion of sugar, heat energy is released into the atmosphere and we cannot store it for further use. Question 53. What is the pathway taken by air in the respiratory system? Illustrate with a labeled diagram. The pathway taken by the air in our respiratory system is nostrils, nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchus, bronchioles, alveoli, and blood. Air enters the body through the nostrils. Air is filtered in the nasal cavities and its temperature is brought close to that of body. Pharynx is the junction of respiratory and digestive system. Epiglottis is a flap-like muscular valve controls the movement of air and food towards the respective passages. Larynx is also called as sound box. It contains vocal cords. When air passes out of the lungs and over the vocal cords, it causes them to vibrate. This produces sounds based on our speech and song, etc. Trachea is also called as windpipe. It channels air to lungs. Trachea at its lower end divides into two branchiae, one leading to each lung. The branchiae further divide into smaller and smaller branches called branchioles. Branchioles finally terminate in clusters of air sacs called alveoli in lungs, which are very small and numerous. Gaseous exchange takes place here as blood capillaries take up oxygen and expel carbon dioxide here. Blood carries oxygen to each cell of the body. The whole passes from nostril to alveoli is moist and warm. Question 54. Draw a block diagram showing events in the respiration. Write what you understood about cellular respiration. Step 1. Breathing. Air movement into and out of lungs. Step 2. Gaseous exchange of lungs level. Exchange of gases between alveoli and blood. Step 3. Gas transport by blood. Transport of oxygen from blood capillaries of alveoli to body cells and return of carbon dioxide. Step 4. Gaseous exchange at tissue level. Exchanging of oxygen from blood into the cells and carbon dioxide from cells into the blood. Step 5. Cellular respiration. Using oxygen in cell processes to produce carbon dioxide and water releasing energy to be used for the life processes. Cellular respiration. All the living organisms must carry out cellular respiration. During respiration, energy is produced when the glucose or fatty acids are oxidized in the cells. As this process occurs in the cells, this is called as cellular respiration. It can be in the presence of oxygen that is aerobic respiration or in the absence of oxygen that is anaerobic respiration. Cellular respiration in prokaryotic cells like that of bacteria occurs within the cytoplasm. In eukaryotic cells, cytoplasm and mitochondria are the sites of cellular respiration. The complete breakdown of sugar molecule with the release of all its available energy involves a series of chemical reactions. 
The energy released in cellular respiration is stored in a special compound called ATP. ATP is utilized for carrying out other functions in the cell. Question 55. How do you appreciate the mechanism of respiration in our body? Respiration is essential for life because it provides energy for carrying out all the life processes which are necessary to keep organisms alive. The energy that is obtained from respiration is used to build the organisms through the cell growth and reproduction as well as cell repair. All the systems in a living being need energy to survive. Energy is defined as the ability to do work. So, without respiration, we would not have any energy to perform necessary and day-to-day -day functions. Respiration helps to expel the toxic CO2 out of the cells. This CO2 will be utilized by plants for photosynthesis. The respiratory system goes into operation from the moment of our birth to death. During exhalation, the vocal cords in the lungs vibrate to produce sounds. Question 56. Write an experiment to observe changes during combustion of sugar. Our aim is to observe changes during combustion of sugars. Apparatus used are wooden stand, test tubes, rubber topper, delivery tube, glucose or sucrose powder, and lime water. Procedure Take a small amount of glucose in a test tube. Arrange the apparatus as shown in figure. Heat the test tube with glucose powder over a flame. Go on heating till the glucose catches fire. When the glucose burns, CO2 and H2O are produced and energy is released as heat. Glucose must be burnt at high temperature in the lab to liberate energy. Once the glucose starts burning, we cannot stop the process easily. Combustion can be stopped by adding water to the glucose powder. So, the CO2 released changes the lime water into milky white. Conclusion From this experiment, we can conclude that combustion of glucose produces CO2, H2O and energy is released as heat. The CO2 released changes the lime water into milky white. Question 57. How can we show that heat is liberated during respiration? Our aim is to prove that heat is evolved during respiration. Our apparatus are thermos flasks, two thermometers, rubber cots, dry seeds, and germinating seeds. Procedure Take a handful of moong seeds and soak a day before experiment. Keep the soaked seeds in a cloth pouch and place it in a corner of classroom. Next day, collect the germinating seeds and keep it in a glass bottle around 200 ml capacity. Make a similar set with dry seeds. Keep both bottles undisturbed for one or two days. Arrange thermometers through one hold cork in such a way that the bulb of the thermometer should dip in germinating seeds and dry seeds. Record the initial temperature in both flasks and record it for every 2 hours for at least 24 hours. Observation Constant increase in temperature observed in thermometer placed in germinating seeds. Result Hence, it is proved that germinating seeds respire and liberate heat which is responsible for increase in temperature in the thermometer. Question 58. What is the role of epiglottis and diaphragm in respiration? Epiglottis. It is a flap-like muscular valve 
that controls the movement of air and food towards their respective passages. It serves as protection to our windpipe. It stops food and liquid going into airway. It allows air pass through the larynx and respiratory system. Diaphragm. It is a dome-shaped sheet of muscle that separates the chest from the abdomen. During inhalation, it contracts and moves to the inferior direction, thus enlarging the volume of thoracic cavity. This reduces the pressure in lungs and air enters into lungs. During exhalation, the diaphragm relaxes and assumes its dome shape. This change increases the pressure on the lungs and squeezes the air out through the nose to the external atmosphere. Question 59. After a vigorous exercise or work, we will feel pain in the muscles. What is the relationship between pain and respiration? We obtain energy by aerobic respiration, but anaerobic respiration takes place in our muscles. During vigorous exercise, oxygen gets used up faster in the muscles that can be supplied by the blood. When anaerobic respiration takes place in human muscles, glucose is converted into lactic acid with the release of a small amount of energy. The anaerobic respiration by muscles brings about partial breakdown of glucose to form lactic acid. The accumulation of lactic acid in the muscles causes muscular pains and cramps. Question 60. If you have a chance to meet pulmonologist, what questions you clarify about pulmonary respiration? Questions are what is the cause for lung cancer? What type of diagnostic tests will be performed to assess the function of lungs? What is asthma? How asthma can be cured? What is pneumonia and how it is caused? What is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease? What is tuberculosis? Can it be cured permanently? What is the organism that causes acute bronchitis? Can all the diseases of lungs be cured permanently?